The Medical Council of Canada is pleased to offer candidates remote proctoring to take the Medical Council of Canada Qualifying Examination Part 1. You can choose to take your exam using remote proctoring or on-site at a test centre. With remote proctoring, you can take your exam from the comfort of your own home, in Canada or internationally. Using your computer's web camera, microphone, and speakers, one or more live proctors monitor you for the entire duration of the exam. In addition to live proctoring, the security of the exam is supported by artificial intelligence and machine learning. With remote proctoring, you use your own computer by downloading the testing platform application. After launching your exam, the application takes control of your computer, so it is the only program you can use during the exam. The application restricts internet use and locks down all browsers. Before starting your exam, disconnect all unnecessary devices, such as printers or second monitors, and remove them from the room. You need to meet specific requirements to take your exam using the remote testing platform. You need to use a desktop or laptop computer. Your computer must be on a desk or a table. You require a web camera and a built-in microphone and built-in speakers. The testing platform works best with a stable internet connection. While connecting with Wi-Fi is acceptable, you are recommended to connect directly to the modem or router. The speed must be 0.5 megabytes per second or higher. Only the current version of Google Chrome is compatible with the testing platform. For more information on operating system requirements, consult Pro Proctor's user guide. To avoid issues with battery power, connect your computer directly to a power source without a docking station. To avoid potential firewall or network protection issues, you should not be connected to a company VPN. The MCC recommends using a computer monitor with screen resolution set at 1920 by 1080 and a screen size of at least 14 inches or 35.5 centimeters for optimal display of the questions and resources. Your computer must not be connected to a second or additional monitor. You must be able to comfortably lift your computer connected web camera and point it all around your room for up to 10 minutes. The testing platform and the exam questions are available in French, and French-speaking proctors are available at specific times. Please refer to the MCCQE Part 1 FAQs on mcc.ca. If you cannot meet all these requirements, you must take your exam on-site at an available test center. Now, let's look at a few of these requirements in more detail. You need a web camera so a readiness agent can do an environmental check of your entire room and testing area as part of the pre-exam check-in process. You need to be able to comfortably lift and move your web camera in different directions so that the readiness agent can see all around your room and testing area. This is true whether your web camera is an external web camera connected by a cable or built into your computer. The environmental check can take up to 10 minutes and you must be able to lift and move your web camera for the entire time. The MCC recommends practicing this before choosing remote proctoring and again before exam day. Also, the better you prepare your testing area before taking the exam, the less time that will be needed to effectively complete the environmental check. More information about preparing your testing area will be discussed later in this presentation. The MCC would like to highlight that you need a stable internet connection to reduce the chances that your exam would be interrupted by internet connection issues. It is preferable for you to connect your computer directly to your modem or router using an Ethernet cable. However, you are able to take the exam while connected using Wi-Fi. Be aware that other people streaming content such as videos while you take your exam can cause your internet connection to significantly slow down or drop completely, disconnecting you from the testing platform. You should tell everyone not to use the internet while you are taking the MCC QE Part 1. If you are unable to launch the exam and troubleshooting technical issues extends past one hour, 
irrespective of the number of disconnects, you may request to reschedule your exam. You can get disconnected from the testing platform and successfully reconnect as long as the exam can be continued on the same day as it was started. If your internet connection is disrupted, you can log back into the exam through the portal once connectivity is restored. You will return to the spot where you were disconnected. It is important to note that no exam time is lost. The MCC QE Part 1 is designed to allow you to use images as a reference for designated items. Images are best displayed on a split screen, showing the image side by side with the questions. Split screens require a high screen resolution. Therefore, the MCC strongly recommends a screen resolution of 1920 by 1080. A lower screen resolution causes the images to appear in separate pop-up windows, requiring you to move between windows. In addition to your monitor having the higher screen resolution capability, you must also set your computer's display settings to 1920 by 1080 before you begin the exam. As soon as possible before the exam, do a system check to test that your computer has the necessary technology requirements. On the MCC's website, Find and click the link that launches the testing provider's system check. If you cannot meet all the requirements for remote proctoring, you must take your exam on site at an available test center. On exam day, the system check runs again as soon as you launch your exam. An important note, the system check accepts a lower screen resolution of 1024 by 768 and allows you to take your exam. As already explained, the MCC strongly recommends a higher screen resolution of 1920 by 1080. Before exam day, prepare your room and testing area to give you a secure and distraction-free environment. Find a well-lit, private room where you can take the exam. There must be enough light on your face for the live proctors to see you clearly. You must sit at a desk or table with your back to an empty wall, with no windows behind you. Remove any wall hangings like photos and posters. The wall must be bare. Empty all the drawers in your desk and clear the surface of any papers, pencils, and pens, books, or other prohibited items. Around the room, remove all electronic devices like second monitors and printers. Fully cover bookshelves and any distracting items that you cannot remove. On exam day, give yourself 15 minutes before launching your exam to check your testing area again and make any necessary adjustments. No one is allowed to enter the room during your exam. Post a sign on the outside of the door that says, do not enter. The readiness agent will cancel your exam if your room is not set up properly. Your exam is also canceled when anyone or a pet enters your room after launching your exam. One of the MCC's priorities is maintaining the security of the exam. With remote proctoring, you are permitted to bring limited items to your desk. At check-in, you must show the Prometric Readiness Agent your valid, government-issued photo ID and keep it at your desk. You may take unscheduled breaks during the exam to access food, drink, and or medication. Unscheduled breaks must be managed within the allocated exam time. The routine security scan and sign-in process must be completed upon re-entry to the secure exam area. At check-in, show all permitted items for inspection. The MCC strongly recommends not wearing any jewelry during the exam. Proctors have the right to inspect or ask you to remove any piece of jewelry before beginning the exam. Cell phones and all other electronic devices are not allowed. Turn them off and remove them from your room. Watches of any kind are prohibited. You are not allowed to bring a calculator. As well, you must not have any paper or a pen or pencil. Having any prohibited item at your desk results in the cancellation of your exam. Visit the MCC's website for more details about permitted and prohibited items. Physical calculators are no longer allowed for the MCC QE Part 1. As well, paper, pencils, and pens for taking notes are not permitted. On the testing platform, use the on-screen calculator for calculations. 
For note taking, use the virtual electronic scratch pad, which is available in the same manner as the chat feature. After approving you to take the MCC QE Part 1, the MCC sends you a message through your physiciansapply.ca account to inform you that you may schedule your exam appointment. Log into Prometric's website and select to take your exam on site at a test center or using remote proctoring. Then, schedule your appointment from the available dates and times. Prometric's website shows a long window of available appointment times, ranging from early morning to late evening. When scheduling your appointment, you will need to specify the time zone in which you will be writing the exam. This entry will result in the showing of appointment times relative to your local time. Please remember that the MCC QE Part 1 has a 9-hour appointment time. Booking appointments afternoon in your local time may take your appointment late into the evening. Now we will talk about what you can expect on exam day including the readiness checks and other exam processes. After launching your exam, the testing platform does another system check of your computer, confirming again that you have the appropriate minimum technical requirements to take the exam. The readiness agent uses your web camera to begin recording you from this point and throughout your exam experience. This information is secured by the testing provider to protect your privacy. The readiness agent then verifies your identity and conducts the environmental and candidate checks. Before meeting your live readiness agent, the self-serve check-in process guides you to capture an image of yourself and your government-issued photo ID. Your readiness agent verifies your identity before allowing you to continue with the exam. The agent confirms that your ID is valid and not expired and compares your appearance with the photo on your ID. After greeting your readiness agent, you are asked to confirm your name, your address, and exam details using video chat. After verifying that you are the correct candidate, your readiness agent continues with the environmental and candidate checks. The environmental check is a 360-degree scan of your room and testing area using your web camera. The readiness agent instructs you to move your web camera around to show the entire room, your desk, and testing area. You must be able to lift your computer or monitor and move it around in all directions for up to 10 minutes. The readiness agent checks that all the walls are empty, that nothing is hidden on the ceiling or floor, and that nothing but permitted items are on your desk. The agent also checks underneath your computer, the bottom surface of your desk, and underneath your desk and chair, as well as other areas as needed. For the environmental check to run efficiently, and take as little time as possible, it is important that you prepare your test area before exam day and do another check before launching your exam. Otherwise, the environmental check can take a long time, delaying your exam start time. The candidate check is a visual scan of your person to confirm that you do not have any prohibited items on you. You do the candidate check standing up. The readiness agent instructs you to show behind your ears and inspects your eyeglasses. You will roll up your sleeves and pant legs for inspection. The readiness agent will instruct you to turn your shirt and pant pockets inside out. In the final step before beginning the exam, the readiness agent shows you how to communicate with the proctors or technical support for any issues you have during the exam. You can communicate with the proctors in two ways. The best way is by sending a message using the chat feature on the screen. You can also speak out loud into your microphone. If you notice any issues with the testing platform, tell the proctors immediately so that you can receive technical support. At any time when a technical or security issue occurs, the proctors may speak or message you, so please respond immediately. During the exam, one or more live proctors monitor you. The proctors check that you are always in view of the web camera and that no one enters your test room. They monitor that you are not engaging in any inappropriate behavior. The testing platform also uses artificial intelligence to monitor for any suspicious behavior or sounds. You are not permitted to talk aloud unless you are speaking to the proctors. It is important that you stay focused only on the exam. The proctors may pause your exam at any time to conduct another environmental or candidate check. If a security concern is flagged or noticed, the proctors will involve a security agent. 
the security agent will investigate the issue and may terminate the exam as outlined in the policies determined by the MCC. You will be informed that the exam is being terminated. If an exam is terminated due to a security concern, the incident will be investigated by the MCC. The security agent is not required to call MCC prior to terminating an exam. The MCC QE Part 1 has only one optional 45-minute break that will start once you finish the multiple choice questions component in the morning. You may take less than a 45-minute break if you wish to start the clinical decision-making component early. However, this does not give you extra exam time. In addition, if you take more than a 45-minute break, your afternoon time session will automatically start. You can take unscheduled breaks during the exam to access food, drink, and or medication outside of the testing room. Unscheduled breaks must be managed within the allocated exam time as the timer on your exam will continue to count down. You must inform the proctors before taking your break, and the proctors must respond before you step away from your computer. When you return from your unscheduled break, you need to go through the complete check-in process again, including identity, environmental, and candidate checks. The clock does not stop for these checks. Prometrics supplied physical resources are available and delivered exclusively at Prometrics exam centers. These include, but are not limited to, the provision of a separate testing room, a separate room for nursing, wheelchair accessible centers, readers, scribes, desks, chairs, and computer monitors. These accommodations will restrict your ability to schedule a remotely proctored appointment. Exam appointments that support the delivery of test accommodations are subject to availability and may vary based on the type of approved test accommodations. Blocks have been reserved for MCC candidates requiring accommodation and these seats are available on a first-come, first-served basis. Test accommodations relating to additional test time, break time, and access to your personal items can be delivered in appointments conducted both at Prometric exam centers and via remote proctoring. If you are unable to launch or complete your exam due to technical difficulties, please contact Prometric Technical Support on the ProProctor eHelp website. This site can be found by clicking the Contact Support button on the ProProctor exam launch portal. There, you will find live tech support agents, FAQs, and troubleshooting information for common technical issues. To speak with a live technical support agent, please click on the chat icon at the bottom right of the ProProctor eHelp website homepage. If Prometric Technical Support is unable to launch or return you to your examination, please notify the MCC through your physiciansapply.ca account at your earliest convenience. This presentation has highlighted important aspects of taking your MCC QE Part 1 using remote proctoring. More details about the remote proctoring experience are available in the resources posted on the MCC's website. You are responsible for reviewing these resources and knowing all their contents before choosing to take your exam using remote proctoring. You should check the website frequently for updates and more information. The MCC expects that you will have a positive experience with remote proctoring and wishes you well on your upcoming exam.